I understand I'm not for everyone, but give me a try and you won't go back. Not follow you if we just stand around. Okay, typed all that for no real reason, but eh, better to formulate in words, I guess. So, in today's stream, we'll be doing some sort of theory crafting, hawking, etc etc uh be working on trying to make this build at least decent in numbers really? Stop hopefully we'll work on the knives first word of ill will Ancient Parthen defenders. Number of enemies will probably be at around like five guaranteed. Elusive ring. Uh, let's work on the Paragon. Now we'll say 800. Let's do something like that. Extra health would be nice.
Any other points will be put into dexterity. So... <sighs> okay, so I'm Genji and doing theory crafting for Diablo 3's next season. This is the build I plan on using with Demon Hunter, but before I get into that, I'm probably going to start off as Monk. Uh, the season is tomorrow. It's going to... the se uh, My first stream is going to go in an 8 hour interval, but it's going to continue each hour. But I will be ending the stream and starting the stream. So what that means is every eight hours, I'll end the stream and just start it right back up literally a second later. The point of this is because I'm going to be uploading it to YouTube. So I also have this as permanent, uh, just a showcase, I guess, but we're starting as monk. How come my sheet damage went up? Out there? Bring a thief with you next time. Oh, sort of ill will, probably. But, uh, what this means is, basically every eight hours, I'll be ending the stream and starting it up. The stream is going to go from 7 o'clock tomorrow, so in 24 hours, all the way until Sunday, 11 p.m. So it'll be about a 50, 52 hour stream. I don't know. I think it's 52. I might go 50 hours instead, but it depends on how Sunday goes. Uh, yeah, that's what it's looking like right now. I get off work at 6.15, so I get literally half an hour to relax and then 15 minutes to prepare everything, food and etc. Because I'm going to have to have plenty of food so that I have plenty of energy. I don't know. So, that's the plans for that, really. Uh, we're going to go the Oryx. So I made this build with someone else. And I'm going to be hopefully modifying it a bit or seeing at least its potential. Maybe I can take off damage for more, I mean, damage reductions for more damage, which would be nice. Please take me with you. These villagers are terribly dull. I never heard of this one, Untold Secrets.
I really don't want the max discipline on Stone Jordan. I'd rather take plus three random than get max discipline. Like this one, but this one has extra gold for monsters and increased gold and health pickup, which is kind of useless. Um, what was the other one called? Justice? How come I didn't see it? When virtue tarries, evil <laughs> then... I'll fire right. I mustn't waste more time. One second. I want to make sure it doesn't kick me for being AFK. Because I will be using that. Okay. So... I have the basic gear now. Don't take that Templar with you. He'll put you to sleep with all of his blathering. And what I'm probably going to end up doing here is removing the fire skills or socket. I'm not going to have any fire skills. And then I'm putting an emerald here. Okay, so I'll explain this once I finish it. Let me just grab this at least. Because right now I have a paper in front of me. And look at that damage. 308, 308 pretty much hasn't changed.
There we go. My damage shot up when I made them all ancient. Perfection. Hold, hold shift for details. Change all stats to 100%. I believe that was one of the rules, right? Just to see the best possible outcome. Uh, we'll do in call the sands. We'll say 70. For dexterity. Evil does not rest. Neither should we. Now we'll say esoteric will be rank 70. Big rating 70. And we'll say LOD at 100. Because I'm, I'm probably going to get a carry for to get it to 100. The rest are fine at 70. I don't know if you can get it higher than 100, though. That'd be nice to know. So let's look at my toughness right now. I'm at 30k armor, block amount about 25 to 32,000, block chance at about 40%. None of which is terrible. Since I added a socket onto Unity. If it comes with the socket, that'd be great. I would like to just remove the crit chance for a socket. I don't really need crit. My damage multiplier is almost at 10k, which is really bad, actually. So, the next thing I need to do is create the skills. Yeah, once I have the build down, I can try and do modifications. My DPS shouldn't be going down because I'm immune to control. I like how it went from 650 to 59. <laughs> 
I don't want either of these. Okay, so currently my main skill is going to be a grenade. And we'll be using stun grenades in order to proc uh, I'm growing ancient parth and defenders. They max, max bounce of five times. Heck, we don't even need to worry about bounces. We could just keep it at one, zero. I'm A-OK -okay with that. And then we're going to have Chakram as our main source of damage. We're doing Shuriken Cloud. The darkness grows while we stand about. DPS is actually really high. Like, double this. Although, technically, this thing can bounce up to five times for a total damage of 1.3 billion. Or is that million? One billion, three hundred million? As for my skills, I decided to take off Spike Trap, which is what would have probably gone here. Probably? Shoot, I forget how I format my skills. And that's why I have this tab. So W is 1, A is 2, S is 3, and D is 4. W, A, S, D. W. So I changed this to Fan of Knives. And decided to go with Fan of Daggers. Oh, I do have a fire skill. Ah, cool. But I don't care about this thing's damage. The whole point of it is to stun enemies. And then Caltrops. And this one is focused on damage. This is supposed to be a bit more DPS, and we're doing Jagged. A little extra damage. I could go for something else if I don't really care for the damage. Not a lot of damage. But you can stack these on top of each other. Which which hurts a lot. Then we need to go prep. And I decided to change it up to focus mind. Up time 30%. It's just fine. I haven't managed to cool down on my gear yet, so we'll figure that stuff out later. And then the last one is Vault. I need a way to get out of things. We're going to go Rattling Roll. Now we'll, we'll, we'll say five bounces for now. Yeah, my damage went up just a little bit, 59 to... Oh, no, it's still, it went from 59202 to 59202. Yeah, it's from Stone Gauntlets. Reduce movement speed and attack speed. But you, if you're immune to control, this thing's not a problem. And I'm immune to control with Invigorating, but they're not keeping track of it. Kind of dumb. Hmm. 
I mean, this is best case scenario. I get this thing to rank 100. But can it go higher? There's a question. Okay. So, this is currently what the build looks like. This armor... These skills, these passives, these uh, canais. This paragon will never change. This is pretty much what it's going to be. These skills might change. And these gems. I really want to change out esoteric if possible, but I think I need the non-physical damage reduction. Plus the uh, reduce elemental damage is nice. The darkness grows while we stand about. Area damage would probably be a best thing to actually try and get for this build. Because Chakram is basically a small area and grenades is also a small area. I should probably get area damage on my build just a little bit. So we'll try and get area damage on my burning axe if possible, but like I would also take, like, Vit. Damage increased. is something I need, actually. Ten percent extra damage? Yeah, that's required. And then for you, it doesn't really matter. Stun on hit, life per hit. Both would be good. Life per kill or stun on hit. Both would both would be nice. If I get stun on hit, I have more ways of stunning, but really almost everything here pretty much stuns. Just go life per kill. Extra heal factor. I don't care about transmogs. Yeah. This is pretty much like the perfect burning axe for me. Life after each kill, you know, some some healing factors. I would also take light, uh, stun chance. Dexterity from call to sense, area damage, dex damage. Let's go here to the shield. The the gear will probably never change. I want I want to change esoteric though, but that's probably not gonna happen. I really need esoteric. It's a great gem. So this is the build I'm pretty much most likely gonna play. It's a legacy of dreams. Which is a gem, it's a Legacy of Dreams build, and it's focused around Chakram. Pretty much focused around Chakram. But at the same time, because Sword of Ill Will is the only item you can actually change its damage up. Yeah, there, there's no other items that affect Chakram. Which I kind of find is lame, because this 1.4% is not good. It needs to be like 3%. Or more. But at least 3%. And also, like, if it could, like, I don't know, not give a rune, because I don't think there are any fair runes. Uh, let's see. This one. Let's take a look at the runes. For Chakram. We got Shuriken Cloud. Surround yourself with spinning uh, Chakrams. Boomerang. Throw an electrified Chakram that returns to you. Razor disc, the chakram spirals out from the targeted location. Serpentine, this the chakram follows a slow curve hitting enemies in its path. Twin chakram. Throw two chakrams instead of one. So like maybe twin chakram? Because that would always be good. 
even in shuriken cloud i'm pretty sure it would be good because then you'd have two spinning chakrams around you maybe it, maybe it could double its damage i don't know but like there's no easy way to buff chakram i kind of wish that they would make a make something for marked for death You know, like marked for death, uh, death toll, or mor mortal enemy. Because, uh, like, I wish there was a, a thing that would give this rune, because I would like to use it as an extra heal factor. Yeah, I was going to use Spike Trap, a deadly trap that explodes when hatred is spent. I decided not to, though. I could, though. Still use it, but Fan of Nice is nice. I wish I could use Sentries, but it doesn't really feel like a ninja thing to do to really use Sentries. So... Yeah, for this, I really want the missile damage reduction to be on here. So it's got missile and range. That'd be nice. Obviously, it's going to come with dexterity. Oh, it's already got it on there. Okay. I don't really want to sock it. I'd get nothing from it. Resist all. Coming with block chance. So what's my current block amount, block chance? 51% block chance. That's nice. That's good. And then the last one doesn't exactly matter as much. But if I had a perfect situation, I would kind of want to get a little bit of cooldown, I guess. Resource cost reduction isn't bad either. Alright, resource heavy spending, well, not resource heavy spending, like, I have w very few skills that spend hatred. Just Chakram costs hatred, that's it. And then, uh, Vault costs discipline, Caltrops costs discipline, this is just cooldown, this is just cooldown. So, not a very resource heavy spender. I don't need cooldown either. What's my current crit chance? 22%. I guess in a perfect world, I'd, I'd guess I'd want crit. Either that or bonus damage. Yeah, let, 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 we'll, we'll take crit. In a perfect world, that would be the best thing. Because it would put me at, it would put me in the 30% range. Currently, I'm getting crit from wrist, left finger, which is this thing. Uh, offhand and paragon. For crit damage, I'm just getting it from Paragon. You start with 50%, and then Paragon's giving me another 50%. Oh, are you done already? Wow, you're not. Thought you were. Look at this. This thing has so many things already on it. The darkness grows while we stand about. Yeah, I would keep the movement speed on illusionary boots. Because then that's less percent I have to use for Paragon. Obviously, I'd want Chakram damage. And this one. 
Bonus to globe health radius. Because the other one is just healing bonus. I don't want that. Perfection is at not even a hundred percent. So what do you mean by it's not at a hundred? Let's see. Call the sense is at thirty-four. I'm not going for high call the sense, so that's fine. Okay. We're not doing grenades. Whatever grenade damage I have will be all that I get. We're going to get Vip first. And then... Bonus to gold and globe radius. Because I want to increase that radius as much as possible, really. And I don't really care about life after each kill that much. Like, I'll have it on my weapon, I guess, but I guess I'll take that off, too. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Bonus EXP, ignore durability, level. That's not even on here. Here, we'll take stun on hit, because that's better. It's actually better. Stun on hit? That's extra stun chances, and the more stunning... And that's stun with this, is w with everything. Literally, just increases the odds of stunning, even with Chakram. Grenades will have a chance to stun. These are a guaranteed stun. This is a guaranteed stun. Caltrops are not a guaranteed stun, but now have a small chance. So yeah, I'd rather take this stun chance. It's a better option. Dex, Vit, Resist, Bonus. Yeah, that's pretty much everything I want on there. For you... Justice Lantern... Let's see. Weapon damage, physical damage. Probably the best bet. Bit. Armor. This all. Life. Crit chance, crit damage. I mean, in a perfect world, I'd get these. Because I kind of need more damage. Uh, we're going to grab area damage first. Resource, cooldowns, attack speed. And I guess we'll grab Vit. Extra life. Actually, you know what? Let's grab the physical damage. More weapon damage. For you, I'd probably just take the physical. Because it doesn't matter. The darkness grows while we stand about.
Yeah, like it doesn't matter. This one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five primaries, one secondary. Four primaries, one secondary. Both have an elite, both have a legendary effect. So sad in a way. Hey, you're easy. Give me that vit. Yeah. Resist all. Resist all will always be on my belt. It's like a kind of required item. Could go for grenades here, but I kind of want to get this armor. Actually, no, I want life. I want life percent on my belt as well. Life percent and vit are really good, and if I get resist all, that'd be nice as well. A lot of extra life, and it'll allow me to stay alive during those hard moments. How much health do I have right now? Currently, my vit is at 1.9, and my dex is at 16. Ooh, my vit is really low. But I've only gone through, like, half my pieces of gear. Yeah, you're probably going to come with, with vit as well. Probably not coming with that res with that resistance. And you? Like I don't mind removing movement Someone for Vit. Dead. Someone is dying. Because that's probably what I would end up doing. <laughs> My weapon will not have Vit on it though. You. Obviously, you're gonna have Vit. As well as. You're probably not going to come with resist all. I'll be realistic here. My best option here is either elite damage reduction or armor. And we're going to go for elite damage reduction. And then we'll just say... I prefer getting missile. Should be told. What's my current missile and physical? Physical, cold. Let's see. It's got to be lower. Missile damage reduction is 7. Melee damage reduction 30. That's not right. Because this gives me 45% non physical. How come that's not showing up in here? Yeah, well, we're going to take physical probably. Melee. In a perfect world, that would be the perfect thing to get. We're melee damage reduction. Okay. You are also easy. Go for Vit. And go for Resist All. And melee. And get more melee. Now my melee damage reduction is at uh, almost 40%, which is good. Wish it actually hit 40%, that'd be better. Yeah, those are perfect stats, pretty much. Stone Gauntlets, same thing. Vit. Resist all. And then for you, I actually want a stat over here. My current area damage. 94%, then it's fine. I don't need to worry about it. If it's 90 to 100, that's more than enough. And I'm going to put area damage on Death Watch. So for you, we're going to want crit. A bit more on the crit chance would be nice. If I don't get crit, by the way, I would also take either cooldown, crit damage, or even area damage, or even resource cost. Like, I would take anything. As long as I got dex, vit, and resist, I, I would be fine. Chance to immobilize on hit is great as a permanent secondary because it increases the odds of getting resist all on stone gauntlets. And then we'll do this. So as I said, it. And area damage, because that'll put me in the 114%, which is over 100%. And then I would take either cooldown or resource, whichever one it came with. I 
doesn't really matter to me. What's my current cooldown? 10% cooldown? Wow, I have like no cooldown. And what's my resource? Hatred cost 32, discipline cost 39. Yeah, we're good. We we we'd want a little bit of cooldown, I guess. We should go cooldown. I did not devote my life to standing around. And then for you, realistically speaking, I don't really care what I get on this. So we'll just take bonus to globe. Pretty much uh, most secondaries are going to be bonus to globe. You. And you. This is uh, going to be the neck. This is going to be a bit different. Because it's it's going to be whatever the first ancient really is. If it comes with perfectionist, that'd be better. But I would just take any ancient that's actually useful. It, by useful, it, I mean it has to have either blood vengeance, custom engineering, numbing trap, or awareness, or perfectionist. It has to have one of these five and be ancient. I don't really care about what stats it comes with, but we'll take ones that are realistically better. Crit chance. Area damage would be the really good roll here because it would it comes in with uh, more than the standard. No, it comes in with the standard. Oh darn! Never mind. I don't want area damage on here. Thought it would come with at least more than twenty percent. Physical damage increase would be nice. Physical damage, along with physical damage. Pretty much just giving that physical. Now, Rask could actually come with physical, right? I would remove crit for it. I mean, I'm still at 36 crit, which is fine. And now my physical is literally like 20% higher. So now my physical is at 40, my chakram's at 15. And I, and I do need physical. Physical I need is in, in any place as possible. Is this the only other place chakram can come from? Yeah, we want Chakram on my Leo's Helm, which is going to be hard. I have to roll for it myself, so. And then the other item, I don't really care. We don't want Vit on the Helm. Really, you kind of want to get Crit Chance on your Helmet. And then... The secondary can be... Doesn't matter, we'll just put Globe. But yeah. You want it to come naturally with crit. Doesn't really matter what percent. And then you want to put Chakram on your Leo's Helm. If you're doing Chakram build. That's pretty good. Now this damage says it's only 90,000. Which is pitiful. But the reason why is because Stone Gauntlets isn't showing up properly. But I want to know what my defenses are before I check my offense. What's my current area damage? 114%? Yeah, that's more than enough. Never my virtue. What's my cooldown? 17.2? Okay, I need a bit more cooldown. Oh well. And what's my chakram damage at? 30%, 40% physical, neck, wrist. Physical come from other places. 
And can you get physical from your shield? That'd be nice. We're totally a sacrifice. Crit chance for it. I don't really need crit. Like, it's nice to have over 25% crit, which is what I really want, but... I would hard roll for uh, crit. Crit is one of the things I'd roll for. Resist all is a possible. Let's see. Let's say I take away resist all and we take... No, it's not on here. Now let's do weapon damage physical. Because this basically affects my weapon damage. The darkness grows while we stand about. So right now I'm at a million damage, basically. Five K vit, almost enough. I'll basically have about five thousand when I when my build is completely finished. Yeah, I'll have about five K. You usually end the season with somewhere between like four and five thousand vit as a demon hunter. Five K is normal. Six K is too much. Like getting six K is actually difficult and not worth it. Damage is at pretty good. Toughness is at doesn't matter because it's not right. Recovery is at eh, insane. Patience. Was never my virtue. Let's see, chakram damage, physical damage, cooldown reductions is almost at 20%. Area damage is at 104. Crit damage is at 100%. From Paragon only. Crit hit chance is at 36%, which I can actually go lower than this. Fine. I could take it off head, hands, off hand, or par well, not Paragon, obviously, but the only places I can really take it off is my head. My head doesn't really need that 6%, but not much else that'd be worth taking. Bonus damage to elites is what I need to increase a bit further. My effective DPS is almost in the... Damage per hit. DPS. Yeah. Over a million. Nice. Well over a million. It's almost it's almost in the billion range. So let's look at my toughness now. Yeah. Let's see what my toughness does here. Toughness is at 37.4. Goes to 14. 
literally well over triples 14 yeah it, it basically triples almost triples it almost triples just the toughness alone because you gain armor a lot of armor you gain getting hit increases your armor by 50 percent but reduces your movement speed and attack speed this effect stacks up to five times so 250 percent extra armor for 100 percent less attack speed and what 75 percent movement speed reduction but yeah i i, I have invigorating I'll Im i'm immune to control impairing effects and both of those are control impairing effects they're not going to affect me i have no dodge armor's at 91. stone gauntlets is giving me 60,000. With 91 armor, I have a damage reduction of 96.3%. That's awesome. That's insane. That I'm that I'm that I'm almost at 100% reduced damage to mobs my level. And then I'll block 25 to 32 damage. 50% of the time I'll block basically 20 to 30k <laughs> extra damage. And then I and then I'll have a 75% damage damage reduction to physical, cold, fire, lightning, poison, basically elemental damage. He's 75% reduction to that, which isn't much. Kind of need it higher than that, but for a demon hunter, getting these things to 1k is good enough. I'll ask you. I'm immune to con uh, crowd control, so I don't have to worry about this. My right finger. Yeah, this thing. Which is a waste to take off. There are other things I need to add on there, like, I don't know, Patience something else. Was never my Missile pleasure. damage reduction is at 7%, but I'll get it. Any non-physicals will also do 45% less. So. I have at least a 50% in non-physical damage. And then I have almost 40% in melee damage. The only thing missing here is neck, which has 7%, but that'd be a waste. Elite damage reduction is at 11%, only missing it from offhand, which wouldn't be bad to put on. I could put that on instead of uh, resist all. But I'd rather take the resist all because it puts me over 1k. Because, like, these are all perfect stats, and that's probably not going to happen. That's, that's definitely not going to happen. Getting perfect stats on one of these things is possible, but every single stat? Yeah, it's not going to happen. And then no thorns, because I didn't put any thorns. But I'll probably have thorns. Who knows? Damage reduction is at 99.5%. Burning Axe of Sankis gives me 50%. Justice Lantern is giving me 28. Unity, 50. Wraths of Clarity, 50. Aquila's Crest, 50. Elusive Ring, 60. Ancient Parthen Defenders is giving me 47. Legacy of Dreams is giving me 52. And note that where is it? Here it is. This this is at a five. That's like the smallest I'll have. On average, I'll probably have double that, which is ten. Which gives me a seventy-two percent damage reduction with ancient Parthen defenders alone. Guaranteed. But yeah, we'll we'll keep it at five. Literally almost double. How much with, with a maximum of twenty? God, I'd be god tier. I would actually become god tier. Ancient Parthen defenders would give me ninety-two point twenty-four percent damage reduction if I stunned twenty enemies around me. My damage my damage reductions would be at ninety-nine point nine three percent. Plus I block damage. My magic damage reduction is at 45% increased by skills esoteric. Yeah, it's right here. Magic damage. Which is non-physical. 
I mean, non, non-physical damage, which is basically like cold, fire, lightning, poison, arcane, and holy. That's why I want to get physical resistance on my gear if possible, because this is non-physical. And then like while while below 50% health, all of these cold, fire, lightning, poison, arcane, holy are getting a 75% boost. This is huge. It literally be makes me unkillable. Oh so, yeah, we'll just change this back down to five. Which is a 99.5. I literally gain like 0.4 damage reduction if with more enemies stunned. I, I gain almost nothing for stunning more than five. What if I what, what if I have zero? Ninety nine point one. If I don't even stun enemies, I have a ninety nine percent damage reduction alone with all this stuff. That's insane. Even without it, literally like I'm gaining point four with just ancient Parthen defenders, which is nice because every single percent can help. Per life. Per life percent, per armor, per resist all, life. My max life right now is at about 700k, which isn't bad. I really want to hit 800k, but as long as it's above 600k, uh, the amount of life I'll have is more than enough. Total life bonus is 40% from Waste and Paragon, which is more than enough once again. Life per second is 10k. Yeah, go on and restart Steam. I'm not using it. Movement speed, minus 75%. Yeah, that doesn't exist. Oh, right. Let me go to Paragon real quick. And my movement speed is going to be... We'll get rid of this. Put it here. I don't want movement speed on my gear. <laughs> I'm immune to control, but I don't think I can put that in here. So I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, you know what? All the sense this bear will be added onto here, so I'm gonna add a stat. Not called the sense this bear, uh, Ramalati's gift. So I'll, I would go with preferably bonus damage to elites. Because this way I can do more damage to elites. Right now my only bonus damage to elites is 15%. I'll take the bonus damage to elites. It's only 8%, but... At the same time, that puts it at 23%. Too many primary stats? Impossible stat combination? I know...
Maybe this was the added socket already. It's possible. I don't really pay attention to what I press. Oh well. So in a perfect world, this is basically my character. A... What seems to be an unkillable character. Like, the amount of damage I take should be zero based off this. Because I'm reducing literally over 90% of their damage and blocking 20 to 30k of any damage I take. So I do take damage. Like, if I take a million and I negate 90%, I still take damage. I mean, plus, this is literally on perfect stats. So let's say all the stats were at 50% of their capacity. Right? What's my damage reductions at? 99.4%. With all my stats at 50. Well, let's just say they were all at 10%. Damage reduction at 99.4%. With 10% of my stats. Let's say they were at 1%. This would be impossible. But, if, but let's say all my rolls were perfect. But the rolls percentages, meaning the numbers, the plus numbers, were the lowest possible. So I still had dex, resist, chance to block, crit chance, you know, all this damages. What would my damage reduction be? 99.38%. Let's say it was zero. Full ancients, call this hands despair, the worst rolls ever. 99.38 so even with the worst possible rolls my damage reductions is still 99.38 percent now granted what changed was literally 0.2 percent with just the Legacy of Dreams, Ancient Parthen Defenders, Elusive Ring, Aquila's Caress, Wrath of Clarity, Unity, Burning Axe, Justice Lantern. With just these things alone, I'm already gaining too much. Now we can close these. So, by too much, I mean perfect amount. I wish I could block more, though. I hate that I'm using Storm Shield, but it's such a good shield, I need to use it. Like, getting perfect rolls is really not going to happen. I'm not going to get these perfect rolls. So, these stats are based off perfect rolls. But just getting these legendaries alone will, will allow me to have all this. Here. Let's uh, remove all the extra stats, right? So we'll start here. Remove the decks. Remove the crit chance. We remove the chakram. We'll keep the bonus damage on it. Because that's called a sense. That's guaranteed. I can guarantee that. We'll leave the gem on there because I can guarantee that as well. Although I can't guarantee the increase the effect of any gem socketed into the helm by 100%. So we're going to use the lowest roll possible. I mean, it doesn't matter because it doesn't affect toughness. This just reduces resource. Can't guarantee any of these.
shoot, I messed it up. Armor when hit, guaranteed. Immobilize on hit, guaranteed. I'll remove the decks. And we'll add Call the Sense back on here. The primary guaranteed? We're gonna remove it. Oh, did I never choose a secondary for this? That's possible. Yeah, I want I, I need I need to get physical damage as well as chakram damage on any piece as possible. I'll remove the decks. Has crit hit chance guaranteed? Apparently. X isn't guaranteed on here. Movement speed is. Resist all. I think I think resist all isn't guaranteed, but there's an extremely high likelihood of resist all being on illusionary boots that I can actually put this on here as a almost guaranteed place for it. And no matter what, these are going to have a socket as well. Like I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add socket onto these no matter what. That's a guarantee on there. Okay, so this is like the most guaranteed stats I will gain no matter what. These stats are guaranteed. 
Now, because I know I'm getting fire damage increase, I know I'm removing fire damage. This is also a guarantee. Removing it for most likely just damage increase. So, these stats are guaranteed to happen for my character no matter what. I'm guaranteed 600 life. I'm guaranteed 6k dexterity. No matter what stats I get. Okay, so let's go to you, I guess. Five bounces. Max that. Included. Included. I'm missing gems. Oh, right. You. I am guaranteeing most likely removing crit or something else for a socket here. So. Since I'm probably removing something else, we'll put the socket here. And let's say esoteric alteration. Rank 70. Included in stats. Remove you so I can check the damage. Okay. So, damage wise, guaranteed. I have a guaranteed DPS of 28 million, no matter what my gear rolls. That's actually really good. But this is also like rank 100 Legacy of Dreams. Let's be a bit more realistic with this, why don't we? Can I change like all my gems only? Let's say my gems are all at 50, right? That's a reasonable number, that's really easy to get. With rank 70 Caldesans, yeah that's guaranteed, by the way, rank 70 Caldesans. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll even change the Caldesans to 50. Let's put this at, at a low point. My DPS goes down to about 10 million, which is actually still really good. This is like guaranteed T6 speeds. Guaranteed T6 speeds. Now granted, this build isn't going to be fast. That's its one main problem. It does have Vault for movement. As well as stunning. The heck? You know I'm like AFK, right? <laughs> oh, I've been disconnected. But watch this. Just hit OK. And bam, I'm back in. I'm typing by the way. I'm sorry you can't see it. It'll it'll show up eventually. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I know that you're only able to see up to here and you can't see below.
See, now you're able to see some of the chat. <laughs> Okay, let me just, uh, I know who you are. So let's put stone gauntlets at max. So let's go down to damage reductions. So even with <laughs> no stats and gear alone. I block 99.5% of the damage still. And this is with Legacy of Dreams at 50 stacks, which is just damage. It's guaranteed to be 52. Because I have full Ancients on. You know what? You know what? Let's just say all my gear is normal. And at 50% capacity. <laughs> what is my damage reduction? 99.18%. You know what? Let's just say I remove Legacy of Dreams. What's my damage reduction? 98%. Without even getting LOD, my damage reduction is 98%. You know how insane this actually is? Justice Lantern is only blocking half as much. It used to be higher, right? Because I used to have more block. I think it used to be 50, but I can't remember. Unity 50, Burning Axe 50, Rasa Clarity 45, Aquilas 50, Elusive Ring 60, Ancient Parth and Defenders. This is the lowest that I'll ever have. Five stacks. Noted that I am guaranteed who have at least a minimum of 10 while fighting. Because I'll, I'll, I'll be keeping a lot of enemies stunned. I'll be standing around a lot though. And that gets me back in the 99.4 range. So this is my build. This is actually a messed up version of it now. It used to be better. <laughs> the stats all used to be higher. But basically next season I'll be using Grenade, Chakram as my main sources of damage. Mostly Chakram. I'm going to focus on this damage the most. But grenades is what, I, is what I'm going to be attacking with. This is just going to be sitting. This is actually going to be used, you know, to fight, you know, throwing these things. Now, now what's good is that this, the chakram doesn't worry about my attack speed. I literally don't need to worry about attack speed with chakram. I just use it once and it's, and it's just a... 10 minute buff that just kills stuff but yeah so we're going to turn off display capture go to diablo 3 um we don't need to keep up this notepad anymore don't save and open okay so i hope you all enjoyed making that build <laughs> ah So, in less than 24 hours, in 20, like, 3 hours, season starts. 23 hours and, like, 40 minutes, season starts.
So, tomorrow, when it is, let's see, can you guys see a time anywhere? No, not really. I will. So right now it is 8.20, and I'm going to start stream an hour before season. Uh, so in literally 23 hours, 40 minutes, I'll be, I'll be working on that stuff. So, okay. Okay. I, I just remembered where I was. So I'm going to be starting stream an hour before season, you know, to get the clan sort of sorted out, get into my party, you know, see how everyone's doing, you know, mingle. I don't know. The, the basics of what happens at the start is, you know, our clan logs in. And we're not the best clan, but we make a couple of the uh, high rankings in the leaderboards. By, by the middle and end of seasons. But, um, yeah, so w it's going to start tomorrow on Friday. I'm going to, this season starts at 8 o'clock. Stream will start at an hour before at 7. I'll put up a, sh a uh, countdown below this one. <laughs> uh, see. I wish there was a calendar here. And then from there... It's going to go literally four hours, and then it's the next day. But the first day of season doesn't stop until the next day, 8 p.m. And I'm, and I'm going to be playing for two straight days. So I'm going to try and get that half hour of relaxing I can get in from 6... Uh, 6.25 to like 6.55 before I have to start stream. And then, you know, as stream starts and I'm sitting in this lobby, you know, like I am now, this is what it's going to look like for the first hour of stream. I'm going to be not even on my computer. I'm going to be preparing food. Uh, I'll have my headset on so I can hear the game for whenever someone logs in. And I'm going to be preparing stuff. So I, I might not even be at my computer for the first hour, but I will be logged in and I will be streaming. You'll be able to see, to see chat, you know, I'll say hi and try to en engage people. Every now and then I'll come to my computer and see what name logged in, because I can hear it, but I won't see it. I'll, I'll log in, I'll keep the ch I'll keep the ch clan stuff on. It goes N, right? Yeah. I'll keep N up, you know, so I can see who logs in more recently. Stuff like that. And basically... At Sunday, Sunday, uh, what, 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 Sunday, what, uh, Sunday, 11 p.m. or earlier. If I play till 11, I do 52 hours. If I play till 9, I do 50 hours. I'm going to do about 50 hours, but I might do more. And as I said before, these streams are going to be in eight hour intervals. Meaning that every eight hours, I need to stop stream, start stream, so that when I upload it on on YouTube, I don't have to worry about all the annoyances with that. It won't be hard to stop stream and start stream. I'll give it a whole, like, 30 seconds before I do anything, so that, you know, the game has time to render everything I just did, because starting another stream and stopping stream, like, let alone streaming, is going to be a little intensive. 
So there's Gigi, the clan leader. I'm gonna ask Gigi now, and if Gigi agrees, I'm gonna take Baharit by the hand and say, you're coming with us too, right Baharit? <laughs> because he's already on my friends list, he'll be easy to message. And I, I will be in the Discord for it, so not everyone is going to be in Discord, but I'm definitely going to be in the Discord, if anyone wanted to join. How's it going? I am going well. Okay. Yeah, you really want to try and make your group the day before, if possible. There are some people I know I can usually rely on. Apocalypse is one that I probably want to grab. <laughs> because he's good. That was Baharit. Rigor's okay. So let, let let me talk about my clan for a second here. Uh, so you see these officers, right? I'm I'm technically not on them. Don't worry. But so you see Red's 06, and and you know he was talking about uh, Rigor, Rigor and Red's and a few others are literally some of our top pushers. There are a few people that are also top pushers, but yeah, we have like three guaranteed top pushers that go for high leaderboards. And then we have a few others that just play exceptionally well. So let's let, let's organize these by level. Durbinator, I'm not gonna count you because you're 3K. Neo, Wild, Fuel, Gales, GG, Hudson, Dave, Shire, Nacho, Iron two. Genj. Hey, where's uh Rhaegor? I don't see him. Am I looking at offlines too? Oh, show offline members. Nine. Yeah, I'm showing offline. I didn't see him. Oh, here's Reds at three K. But I'm organizing it by level. Oh, zero. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, he hasn't logged in for a while. I guess maybe that's it. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of top pushers. I'm hoping to pull in some of the same people I played with last time. Crackbait. And message. Yeah, he's currently FK. Crackbait would be good. Would be a good one to have. But yeah, I'm not gonna worry about getting the clan. That that's the whole reason I'm starting an hour early is to organize the clan members. So that that that's why I'm. That's why I'll be on an hour early to get my team settled. I would like to get crack bait if possible. He's actually really fun to play with as well. You you really don't want newer people because it, it can be it's not as fun unless you're playing with friends and newer people I can't really consider a friend. I mean I'm not saying they're bad though, like they're probably both good. 
like 900 paragon is actually it's actually kind of bad but he's only 800 like, i've played with crack bait before and he's i know how fun he is and then this magics is 1370 he's actually higher than me not by much <laughs> he's not like 3k but <laughs> yeah he's higher but yeah so me and gg we've been doing the same seasons together <laughs> for a while uh let's see leaderboards no not leaderboards i don't care about leaderboards what i want to look at is this seasons so i met gg in like um i believe i met gg like season 11 but it could have been 12. No, it's definitely not 12. It was probably either 11 or 10. Can't remember. Clan hardcore. Hardcore seasonal, hardcore seasonal, hardcore seasonal, hardcore seasonal, hardcore. Se yeah, they're all hardcore seasonals. Hardcore monk, wizard, demon hunter. Hardcore Monk, Demon Hunter. Yeah, I probably met GG in Season 11. <laughs> Spin to win. <laughs> I'm trying to get Crackbait here to respawn. He's currently busy. And what that means is, is that he's... You see this square? The square means he's marked himself as busy. Doesn't mean he's gone, though.
I, I, I want to try and get everyone in party at least 10 minutes before. Oh, Invictus left the clan. That's kind of, kind of a shame, I guess. Yeah. I need crack bait to respond one more time. But that's basically it for today. Uh, I just wanted to show the build I plan on using, try and modify it, but... You know, the modifications that I can actually do are just literally in the armor. So, and there's not much I can guarantee on those rolls. Changing the armor around, I've already done a little modification on that, but I can't actually change anything else. Like, I used to have Spike Trap instead of having Fan of Knives. I was thinking of other rings to use besides Unity, because when I'm in a party, I can't use Unity. So, I was thinking Obsidian Ring or Conventions of the Elements, and I'm like, no, we're not going to use either. I'll use Weird Word. But now that I think about it, I don't need Weird Word. An Obsidian Ring is trash. You know what? Let me, let me look at something. So... Before I end stream, we're going to look up what is a good second ring to wear. The best ring I can think of is Stone of Jordan. So let's see, it has to be a ring, replacing unity, yeah conventions of the elements would be 200% more physical, as well as lightning, neither of which would be terrible, but uh, if I'm taking off damage reduction I need to put back on damage reduction. The problem is, is that there's not a lot of damage reduction rings. Weird Word is the best ring right now because it increases the amount of uh, stunning I can do. But my grenades already stun. I mean, they have a chance. And with Weird Word, it just adds another chance on top of that chance. So, yeah, I guess Weird Word is the best ring to go with. I kind of don't want to put stun chance on stun chance. Yeah, probably weird word. I, I kind of don't want to, but at the same time, there's no other good gems. <laughs>
Yeah, I'll probably just go that then. As much as I don't want to, it's literally the best option here. Also, I will be making new characters. Completely new characters. I'm not going to do uh, rebirths. I just don't see a point in it. <laughs> Maybe I'll rebirth the Demon Hunter. But I'd rather not because I just remade all those armor builds. And remaking them again is not fun. It's really not fun. Okay, well, I've messaged Crackbait. Yeah, Kegs is Kegs Runner. Wallace, well, it's Wallace. Okay, so we got Magic 2015. 10 active to 10,000. Nice. <laughs> Everyone... So we have SS Magic 2015. We have Gigi and me. Like I said, it's going to be hard not to get barbs. Literally, most people are running barbs. Okay, so we have magics. So we're going to whisper him. And message. So we messaged Magic, so we have him as a re as a recent PM as well. Hmm. 
<laughs> I, I know that feeling, man, Magics. I know that feeling. Yeah, Wizards would be really nice to have. Um, a monk, a wizard, and two barbs would be great. Because the reason why I say a wizard is... Oh, you gave me a friend request. I'm okay with that. I actually prefer you being on my friends list. It actually helps. Wizard is better than uh, witch doctor. Okay, so I've, I've messaged. Okay, so put back on display capture. We can actually, you know what? Yeah. Um, you leave the Diablo one on. So we're gonna message a few people. I don't really need to show this, but eh, shouldn't be hard. Darn, A Apoc's not here. Yeah, but see, this is why I wanted to message Magix. Now he's here, and you can see where I found him. Diablo, Diablo, mobile. Because he mentioned while well, he wasn't on WoW, plus he wasn't on Diablo, my dad, Fenrir, I forget who this is, uh, Diablo, Diablo, oh, right, right, I was, I was helping out this person, I was wondering where the heck that was, Crash, Whale Shark, Diablo, <laughs> oh, right, 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 I remember that, okay, so, but yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna message a few people, but I'm gonna end the stream here in a second, who was it? Get a message. I wish I, I wish we get Baharit. I kind of want Baharit the most. But let's see. Yeah, they've been offline for so long. I gotta choose people that have been on more recently. Zykes here is a good person to take in. I believe he plays Diablo. Hellbound, I believe, plays Diablo. Problem is, I don't know these names. I can't just PM people. I will PM at least a few, though. Okay, 
See, I know it's not going to be in my favorites. <laughs> I don't add people as my favorites. The annihil the annihilator. Easy. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I want to message a few people, but they need to be on here. <laughs> Hey, yo, hey. Yeah, he messaged me, and I still have no idea who this guy is. Oh, okay. That guy helped me get my quest done. Unteachable would be great to play with, but he hasn't been on in six months. Five hours for still as. Six days, one year, 13 hours. 15 hours, five hours. I feel like Fenrir was someone from WoW. Faceless, one day, 19 hours, easy. 19 hours. Start chat with easy. Yeah, see? Easy. You plan on starting season 19? So let's message one more that has been online in the last 20. Four hours. Raceland has been on. But I haven't chatted with him at all? No, I'm not going to PM him then. I need to see at least a prior message. Like, not a single PM. Like, God. Uh, let's see. Years. Seven years. This is my brother. Apparently. CJD Taryn Tamiko. Heck. Supposed to be my brother, but apparently not. 18 hours for ATR. The old ones. Lord Farquaad. Yeah. No idea who that is, really. Okay, so... There haven't been a lot of people. Starks is one. No no recent messages. Shadowy Arch. Oh, there's, like, no new messages. Or no old ones. Is Raceland one? Yeah, he's also one of those with, like, no recent messages at all. Identity Zero. Still none. Five hours for Fenrir. We'll see what this is about. Oh yeah, yeah. Never mind. He's Diablo, but he's not in my he's not in my clan. Wouldn't work. What about Faceless? Hey, that's literally all of them. Message like what one person? I messaged like one person. Is that a weird vault? An ancient vault? An ancient vault? All goblin? Yeah, an ancient vault. Mm -hmm. how, how often does that happen? Uh, if you put in an ancient puzzle ring. And then there's Primal Vault if you put in a Primal Ancient. Yep. But I'm pretty sure the Primal Vault and Ancient Vault are pretty much the same. But yeah, if you put in an Ancient Puzzle Ring in, you get an Ancient Vault. And it's just a bunch of goblins. I've had it. It's good. 
Yeah, that's why I saved the ancients for four mans, like guaranteed four mans. Okay, there we go. So sadly, I couldn't play any World of Warcraft within the past like week, two weeks. I don't know. Let's see. Couldn't play it this week. Uh, and I last time I played it was on the 14th, which was literally a week ago. So yeah, for for like the past week, I couldn't play World of Warcraft. And also, while I have this up, I can't upload this video to YouTube yet because I'm waiting for an appeal for this. This annoying thing here, Digital Noise, Rainbow Remix, James Thump. I'm six. Status is pending right now. So I I can't upload that to YouTube yet because I'm waiting for that to be appealed. Because it's within fair use to use it. <sighs> because I not only did I give credit to where I was listening listening it to, but it's on a place that can't be hit with copyright. <laughs> so the fact that I'm getting like silenced by twitch by their automatic system that shouldn't work on my stuff because like kind of annoying i don't even know who james thump is but that's it for today two hours that's uh two that's like nine not 90 i would say like an hour 15 longer than expected i expected this to be like a 45 minute video or less to just make a build talk about it, talk about season and stuff like that. But there's one more thing I want to talk about, and that is this. I was I was checking the rest of it first. We can close that now. I don't need it. So, I was taking a look at this kill streak bonus stuff. And I think it's kind of cool. A thousand kills is going to be impossible. You'll never see me do it. At most, I'm going to get somewhere between 15, 30, and maybe 50 kills. Exploding chickens seek and destroy. A wide frost nova freezes enemies. Corpses rain from the sky. Especially with the build I'm going after, you're not going to see me get high kill streaks. Like, I might get lucky with a 100 kills. Uh, five, five massive energy twisters are unleashed, but I'll never get higher. Getting higher is actually impossible for my character with the current build. But uh, that's it. I'm Genji, and this has been me playing uh, Diablo and talking. Thank you all for watching, and have a good one. Goodbye.